once again I'm up camping and uh, we're uh, still running this camp here this is about 8,300 8, feet elevation and uh, at some point I'll get on up the mountain here to my high camp which is at about 10,500 feet but there's still snow kind of blocking the way to get into there so can't get into there yet probably be after the 4th of July or so mid July before I get up there but uh, but anyway I love it here anyhow it's nice and close and convenient I've got uh, saw my fire pit the last couple times I've been here it used to be about this big I expanded it out hauled in some big rocks yesterday and uh, made the fire pit kind of a long oval a rectangular shape or so about 18 20 inches wide about close to four feet long makes a nice nice big fire pit I made it deep uh, <clears throat> which works really nice for this time of year and uh, and I'm utilizing my shelter over my uh, camp kitchen here basically so anyway this is more than I need for my camp kitchen this is really set up for a family but it's easier for me just to bring everything than to pull out what just what I need because everything's containerized I just throw it all in there and go over top today instead of using I've got my tarp I'm doing some other things, another video of instruction on my tarp, uh, showing you how the PSTL, just showing you a couple other options and how you can set it up. And, and so to shade my stuff here during the earlier part of the day, I uh, put this, put these, uh, this is two ponchos here, two ponchos here that I put over. And uh, so I can use my ponchos like a tarp too. So that just keeps my camp kitchen stuff out of the direct sun. It's not in the sun right now, but it will be at once it passes tree. Anyway, so today here I'm going to uh, I'm going to be cooking some hash browns, some eggs, some uh, sausage. One of our neighbors uh, uh, killed a pig here uh, recently, and uh, and then we bought off some sausage from him. And uh, so I'm going to try that out and see how it tastes. And we're going to do all that over the over this new little fire pit we got going here. Okay, so I've got my campfire cooking sticks here. We're actually calling these cooking irons because these are made out of these are these are iron. These aren't just like stainless steel or aluminum like our like our lighter weight cooking sticks for carrying with one your backpacking. So these are very heavy duty. They're made to be able to use with cast iron and stuff like that. So I'm going to be doing some cooking on here. I got the fire down in that end. I'll drag some more coals under here and put uh, some cast iron here to cook on. I've got a pot going right here on our tripod. And uh, last week I, I hinted at the, the tripod was going to be coming out. It's made in the same way, same style as our cooking irons here but it's a uh, 40 inch long uh, uh, legs on it and set up like this it's about three feet tall comes with a chain and some hooks right here to accommodate all your various pots and that sort of thing we're going to be doing a little something a little later today with that as well very very sturdy you can put a lot of weight on this and have it work well the way this uh, the way this thing's set up, which I'll show you later in more detail, but it's set up to actually automatically in interlock. The, the weight of what you put on there actually makes a twisting action, which locks everything in place. So that's a very nice little setup. They come in a nice uh, Cordura bag or canvas bag, whatever you choose. But let's get started cooking now. It's, I'm hungry. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. Got some Italian sausage here. Now this is just freshly made, just came from the butchers basically. Probably more than I need right there, but what the heck. The next thing I've got here is some hash brown. 
again, probably more than I need. <laughs> Hash browns, eggs. And sausage. What could possibly be wrong with that? You know, I like to have a campfire anyway. So, you know, why not cook on the campfire? There are some miniature sweet peppers left from the last little go round. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to chop up some of those to add to this, add a little color and flavor to this little meal here. Okay, now we're just going to use this pan to roast these. <clears throat> Sausage is done and all. So we'll just get those a little bit taken care of here. Softened up just a little bit. Making a mess. Break one all over. Shows a little bit of crispiness on now. That's the way I like them. I believe. I believe we're good. I'm going to take those off and put them on the other side of this cast iron set. Give you an up close here. There we are. Peppers, eggs, hash browns, and Italian fresh Italian sausage. Just just made last well just the other day, this week. This is gonna be great. I'm just gonna eat it right out of the pan. Why dirty another dish? That's what I got to say. I am going to thoroughly love this, I believe. But I do have to do, I do have to do ketchup on my hash browns. That's how I grew up. Gotta have a little on there. Just like that, right there. I can't put this on, I can't put this on my lap, the pan's too hot. I gotta try the sausage, actually. Mmm. Well, that's got a nice flavor to it. Very nice flavor. One of our neighbors, a couple blocks down the street, butchered a butchered a hog here in the last week or so, and took it in. They had some sausage made up, and uh, they offered us some, so we got us we got us a bunch of bunch of the sausage. About half of it's Italian sausage. And it's pretty darn good. I like it. And the peppers are still. Oh yeah, I did. I did well. The peppers got just a little tenderized, but they still 
have some firmness to them. So they are really good. The hash browns are good. Eggs. Well, I believe I'll believe I'll turn off the camera and enjoy my eating here. Hope y'all have a good meal, cause I am. Camp cooking is just great. It's fun. I don't like to cook at home in the kitchen, but around the campfire, it's awful nice.